Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today's February 11th, 2019, and this is our episode number 429. Today we continue our one year reviews. So, about one year ago, we actually uh, talked about two investment ideas that came to fruition. They, they, I came to invest in them. One of them, CRL, I, we just finished. Uh, our review so check out episodes 427 and 28 and the other one is Trisu it's also a residential real estate construction company but Trisu is far smaller than Cirela it's more focused on Sao Paulo uh, Cirela is present in other states very strong in Rio for example but here is Trisu so if you don't know about it, you can do a search for Naive Investor and Trisu in, inside YouTube and you find the process that led us to invest in this company. I, Since I am an investor, I keep a closer tab on this company, so I have quite uh, pretty updated uh, numbers on their fundamentals here. So. Uh, as you can see here, their market cap, and we can update it. And with a nod to my friend Cassiano, who he actually added an automated market cap here. So it, it consults the API for Google Finance, and I'm still doing it manually. But uh, it's 658 now. Uh, so let's, let's use 658. Or we can do uh, use Bloomberg. And it's, it's interesting because uh, even the, the decision between automating, getting this number, you know, would be so much more efficient to just get it automatically. Yeah, and it's a possibility. Also, like when I come to this page and I find market cap, you know, I do look at all these numbers here. You know, this gives me a, a quick, sometimes subconscious even, sense of what's going on. And then I can scroll here and can see like volume stuff this is all things that can be helpful you know price to book price to sales for example look at this price to book value so this is selling at less than 60 percent of book value it's selling at not a whole lot above sales uh, of one year's worth of sales and even more important i like to see the executives uh and the main people here because sometimes if they change that could be interesting to find out why and how that's going on. So, you know, each, each person has their process. In, in fact, I am adding uh, the market cap here, the most recent one, here sometimes. Uh, and it's kind of easy to do too. Uh, let me copy one here. Yeah, so this is there is this formula here. I'll, I'll explain to you. So it takes from C2. So there's a function here, Google Finance. C2, so it takes cell C2. So it will take the symbol here, and it has to be the right symbol, of course. It asks for market cap between uh, double quotes. And then it gives the, the number precision, so 10 raised to the 6 in this case. And it returns exactly this number here. It's pretty nice. Technically, it's very, very nice. I don't see why uh, keep it painted like that. Uh, we can do this and just use the same uh, graphic treatment. And so this should be updated uh, in real time. It's an option, you know. I like it, uh, but I, I like to, to go to Bloomberg. I like to see other things as well. All right, so about the company now. Uh, so debt to equity seems in control, even though it's been going up year over year. Uh, liabilities to equity, very nice at 0.76. So if you look at Cirela, for example, Debt to equity here is a bit higher, and liability to equity is 
is a bit higher than Trisu's liabilities to equity. I think this could be offset by the fact that Trisu is smaller than Cirela. So Cirela is like this huge ship. Trisu is a smaller boat. It could be building itself into a ship, and that's the mystery there. But, you know, Cirela has a, uh, has a, tr a certain tradition there that should be taken into consideration. This also has great current ratio, so all the numbers here are, are pointing, you know, towards something nice. Revenue seems like it will be up quite a bit year over year here. So you see the trajectory here of, of recovery, maybe. And the earnings also are looking like they can be pretty decent this year, we'll see. And the 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 negative here is free cash flow so not so good one thing we, we it would be useful to look at is if they have a fourth quarter preview here Yep, so ha they have an operational preview here. So they say they beat their guidance for 2018. It's funny, uh, one thing that you notice here is they, they, don't, uh, they don't put into a lot of, uh, like a huge spotlight, the year over year. But if you see here, uh, sales are up year over year by four percent number of units are up by 20 the average price this is striking it's up by 80 percent but the average price of sale this is average price uh, per square meter and this by unit this one's down however they sold uh more uh, square meters so so far it hasn't been like uh, a complete you know outstanding year for Trisu, but it's not down it's I would say it's slightly up and it remains to be seen about the fourth quarter uh, in terms of uh, profits for example uh, so this is just sales so on and so forth so you know it's fine uh, so now we can talk about the variation in the stock price meaning like our performance okay so if you look here, uh, Trisu was selling for uh, 539, but it did suffer a one to two split. So this would be 269. Let me just make sure this, this is right. Two six nine five. Yep. So it was selling for 2695. And right now, Trisu is selling for 4.50. So
So only in terms of the appreciation of the stock itself, we're talking about 66.97, 67%. So this would be our performance only in terms of the stock appreciation here. Uh, 67%. Yeah, they're talking about 81% here. Uh, yeah, because we're not talking about yield here. So they, they have another 1.8% here in dividends right now. Uh, so after this big appreciation. So yeah, I, I don't know if it's quite 81% for us really. That's a little bit strange, but it's above 70 percent so this was, one was a great result over this year now uh we are going to stop here just to make the episode relatively short because i know this is very noisy here I, I did notice that uh and in our next episode we'll look to the future so this year has been certainly has certainly been pretty good for for us with trisu this may have been the be best performing stock over the period in my portfolio. Uh, but uh, what about the future? What does it hold for us? So we'll look at the numbers, we'll look at the ownership, and we'll think and discuss uh, what we can ascertain for the future to be able to, to see if we can come up with a conclusion. And we have, we're holding the company. We need to come up with a conclusion. Do we sell? Do we stay with it? What do we do? Do we buy more? Maybe it could be. Uh, so with that said, thank you very much. Uh, if you're here and you're not yet a subscriber, please consider becoming one by clicking or tapping on the subscribe button. If you have questions, suggestions, criticism, and especially if you spot mistakes in the analysis, please leave a message and I'll write you back as soon as I can. And meanwhile, have a beautiful day. See you soon. Bye-bye.